Christmas is fast approaching, so if you need to put out some graphics that have Christmas imagery and you want them to feel on brand, but you just don't have time to be taking brand photo shoots, trying to create these Christmassy photo shoots, I'm gonna show you today how in Canva you can actually adapt any brand photos that you currently have and give them a festive feel. Add some Christmassy elements to them so you don't have to go out and create new photos. You can very quickly add some Christmas elements to existing brand photos you have. So let's dive into Canva. All right, so just to show you what is possible, these are some that I made earlier. So I turned some brand photos that I had into more festive Christmassy photos without having to go and do a whole new brand shoot, having to set up, having to find props and all those things. We can do this really easy in Canva, which makes it so much easier to create some photos that are on brand that are going to work well for this festive season. And you can use this effect for other times of year too. Maybe even in Easter, you want to create some Easter photos. Anytime that you need to adapt some brand photos because you need some photos relevant to something quickly, this is a method that you can use. So what we're going to do is grab our page and then we're going to put our picture in. So if I go over to my brand kit here, I've got a lot of brand photos in here. If you don't have them already in your Canva, then make sure you upload them. So choose a photo that you want to make Christmassy. Now with this technique, it can't actually change things about you personally because it's not very good for adapting people. But, but what we can do is add things like festive clothing and accessories. All right, so let's start with this image. So what we're going to do is click on the image and go to edit. And we're going to scroll across and choose this magic edit. So what we can do is either click. So if there's a particular element on the page that you want to change. So let's say this vase, let's see if that will click. Yes. Let's click on that and let's say we want to now change it into a Christmas tree. So we're going to put in describing what we want it to do. Now make sure you're specific because if you now make sure you're specific about what you want. So here I'm telling it I want some yellow lights on it because if you get too general, it may just get too creative and come up with its own thing. So if it's a very particular look or something you're trying to create, make sure you tell it that. So now we're going to generate and it's going to give us four different options. So you can then pick the one that you like the best or if you don't like what it's done, you can always go back and try again and edit that prompt and try and give it a better prompt. So we can see now what it's done. So it's added some really cute things here that are Christmassy. So we can just pick out one that we like the look of and press done. Now, what else could we add? Maybe we could add something to my hat. So what we can do for that one is use the brush. So we're gonna put the brush size down a bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to make sure it knows that this is the thing that we wanna change. Now let's, instead of say change, let's tell it to add. So let's say add festive elements to the hat and generate. So I don't really like so much what it's done there. This is where sometimes you need to try again. So it's not always going to add what you want. So maybe let's say add a... Christmas wreath. And there may be times too where something is a flop, no matter what you ask it to do, it's just not working out. So you could try, so you may just want to move on and not do that, but it's all about experimenting with this and trying out different things until you're happy. So now I'm a lot happier with that. So telling it to add a wreath worked better than just uh, telling it to add festive elements. So that's why we need to go back in and play around with that prompt sometimes if it's just not working out. All right, now another thing that we can do is not just edit elements already in here, but we can add things and I'll show you another technique we can use. So let's say, so let's say we want to add some lights. So let's put in string lights. So we put in some string lights, but the problem is with this image is it doesn't really look like it fits the photo so well. So you may find something, but it's like, it just looks like it's been plonked on top. It doesn't really look like it was part of the original photo. So what you're going to do is select the new thing that you've added and your original photo 
and then you're going to go to edit and this one here is going to show up when you've selected two things at once blend so we then can click on blend and say blend images and what it's going to do is help try and make this look like it's actually part of the photo rather than just something that's been stuck on top now again this is an ai thing so it can be hit and miss so give it a go if you're trying to put an extra element in and trying to make it feel like it fits more so as you can see now it looks a little bit more like it actually fits the page we can look at a few varieties here I'm so happy press done and now it looks more like it was meant to be there rather than we went and found a picture and just plonked it on top so it's trying to help match that image better so it looks like it's part of it so going back here this one I found a bit of tinsel and I did that merge thing where I made the image look like it's part of it the other thing I did here was change the text I'll show you how to do that so here I think there was a, another paintbrush and I just told it to turn it into some sort of Christmas decoration and it's turned it into that. So these little tweaks can suddenly give it this Christmassy feel. Now with the text, what we can do is click on anything. If you've got an image that has some text in it, you want to go and click on it and go to edit. And this time you want to go to this one called grab text. It's going to find all the text on the page and you want to select the piece of text you want to change. So let's say we wanted to change this and then grab. Now what it's going to do is find the font that's probably closest. Obviously, if this is something like somebody's handwriting or a very custom font, it's not going to be in it. It's going to find whatever Canva font is closest. So it's found a font in here and now we can edit what that says. So we could write festive. And as you can see, you completely edit it. And so that way you can tweak text that's in an image as well to give it that Christmassy look too. So they're the three tools, changing the text, changing the image, and also merging images. And we can create really fun Christmassy images using our existing brand images, not having to go out and take whole new photos, do new photo shoots. So this is something to really get creative with. So have some fun with this, get creative, turn some of your brand photos into festive imagery that you can use in the lead up to Christmas. And if you'd like to learn more about Canva, graphic design and branding, make sure you subscribe and happy creating.